Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mike. I am the American analyst, and uh, I tried. <laughs> I tried to get out, but they just pulled me back in. I'm trying to not watch the Democratic debate. I gotta watch it in five minutes segments, and I have to pause and just collect myself so I don't lose my mind. If you like what I do, please be sure to subscribe to me here on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter and Minds. Let's get into it. Okay, so the Democratic debate in South Carolina tonight, I'm just going to go through each of the candidates so far. I'm about 45 minutes in, and I had to, I had to take a break. I, I had to. It's insanity. It's insanity just like, the, it, just like the last debate in Nevada, but they're more desperate. They're, more, they're trying to get a, attention even more. And the first question tonight went to Bernie, uh, and it was why... With the best unemployment we've had in 50, or the best economy and lowest unemployment that we've had in 50 years, why should we vote for a democratic socialist? And I thought that was an excellent question to start off. And Bernie gave the the answer of um, the you know the economy is not working for everybody. That was that was his his answer. Whether you accept it or not, all right, fine. Um, one thing I would have hit Bernie on, this is what I would have hit Bernie if I was one of these candidates that he's now, and I'm not the first person to know this, this in 2016, he was railing on the millionaires and the billionaires. Now it's just the billionaires. So it, it seems kind of fishy that once you write a book and become a millionaire, that all of the sudden you're not really railing on the millionaires too more, but I'm sure I'm sure you you had a change of heart. I'm sure you had a change of heart. I, and I'm sure it was totally unrelated to to the to the million dollar book deal. Anyway, Bloomberg. This is why this is why I will I can rag on Bernie for the socialism in one sentence, and in the very next I can have sympathy for him because in in the next. The next sentence, they go to Bloomberg, and the first thing he, Bloomberg says is, you're an asset. You're, you're a Russian asset. And so Bloomberg goes after Sanders for being a Russian asset. And he, it's just crazy. He's like, he's like, I know who really wants, <laughs> I know who really wants to win this debate is Bernie or Putin. Putin wants Bernie to win. I'm like, what? What is this nonsense? This is absolute nonsense. And Pete is just like, Russia, they don't want Bernie. They want chaos. <laughs> I'm like, what is, what is happening? Oh, God. Uh, and and, the, and the, th the interesting thing is, the interesting thing was that it, Warren, again, I'm only 45 minutes in, Warren wasn't really going after Bernie as of yet. Um, she kind of poked fun at him a little bit, saying that, Bernie, your plan doesn't really go into the details that my plan goes into. I th and I, I've heard people say, I think she's vying for VP. I think she's trying to be VP with a look to, you know, Bernie's kind of old. So maybe a 2024 type run. So I think that was that. Pete has not had a strong showing. As of yet, he's oh, oh the the beauty that reminded me of this. There was a at least at least five five full minutes, which on cable television, five full minutes uninterrupted, no commercial. That's an eternity. At least five full minutes of Bloomberg and Warren. Going back and forth, Warren attacked him again on on the 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 women that he had um, sexually harassed, or she's accusing him of that, uh, not directly, but uh, impl implying it. What was the comment? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So so, so Bloomberg 
um, there's a rumor that Bloomberg had said when a female staffer came up to him that, and came up to him and said, I need, you know, however, I need two months off. I'm pregnant. There's a rumor that he responded saying, uh, you should kill it. Now, so far as I know, that came from a book called like Mike Bloomberg's Wisdom the, or the the Wit and Wisdom of Mike Bloomberg. I think it was. It was a joke book that was given to him um, by a staffer, I believe. Now, that doesn't make it true or false. If it's a joke book, it could be an exaggeration. It could be a funny thing he said or that they thought was funny. Not that I do. It could be any, or it could be the, the actual truth. He could have said that. I don't know. I have no idea. But she's asserting it as fact. And also, she also said, to preface that, to preface that, she also told the story of when she uh, was a teacher. She taught special education, and she was um, fired for being pregnant. And she called it discrimination. That story is a lie. I did a video earlier, one of my first videos, that Warren is a liar. She is a liar. She's a liar. That story is a lie. The principal of that school, and I'm surprised that I've... Let me finish first because I'm getting heated. The principal of that school came out and said that that is not true. She quit. There's no record of her being fired. She quit when she got pregnant, which is every person's right to do. But then she turns around and says it was discrimination. So, and I find it, no one challenged her. Not a single person challenged her. Especially Bloomberg, I, he should have known. That is poor preparation by him. By him or his staffers. One person can't know everything, but he missed a golden opportunity right there. And I'm not trying to grift for Bloomberg <laughs> or get him to pay me $500. There's a rumor that he's uh, paying people 500 bucks to just go online and talk about, talk a good, talk him up. But he had very bad planning. That was a, that was a moment for him he missed. But she's, she's just, okay. So they went back and forth after that. So she does the story, then talk, does the killing comment. And then they go back and forth. He says he says something like, uh, "If that if you were in New York, that wouldn't have happened because you know I do all I, I do X Y and Z." Here's the thing with Bloomberg: he should not have apologized. He apologized for everything, for everything that he did. He apologized, and it just makes him look weak. It just makes him look weak. You apologize if you have done something wrong, and I understand that. But every every other sentence. He says, oh, by the way, I'm sorry. Or, I'm sorry, however. It's like, no, dude, stop. Not only do you, does that, you, you admit the guilt, whether or not you did it. You admit it, and it also makes you look weak. It's like, you're going to do this policy, right or wrong, for 12 years. And now you run for president, and now you think it's bad. Well, how come you didn't think it was bad for 12 years? I don't know. All right. But that was also a sideshow. That was a sideshow. Because the main event is everybody's going after Bernie, obviously. Bernie's the front runner. We'll see if he can withstand the attacks. They're coming after him for the socialism, which I like to see. I do like to see that. Again, attack him on his ideas, not this fake Russia nonsense. So... And Bernie's whole, Bernie has held his own thus far. Again, I'm, I'm 45 minutes in. I think it's two hours long. So he's held his own thus far. We will see. There was one moment where literally three people were attacking him at once. At once, three people were attacking him. And he got a little flustered. He, but I think that he, I think he recovered sufficiently. As things stand right now, I think he's holding... The people at bay and again warren is kind of uh, kind of on his side because she's going for that vp bid so he does have to fight off pretty much everybody else there's too many people on the stage it's my biggest criticism there's too many people on this stage 
get Tom Starr doesn't need to be there. Amy Klobuchar does not need to be there. Get them out. They don't need to be there. Tom now Tom Starr's had some good moments, but he's got no chance. He's got no chance. The thing is, he spent a lot in in South Carolina. His plan from the beginning was forget about the first three. Forget about Iowa, New Hampshire, and Nevada or Nevada, whatever. I'm going for South Carolina because it's the one right before Super Tuesday. So he's like, I'm going to take my billions and I'm going to spend them. Bloomberg can go ahead and spend them in Iowa. I'm going to spend my money in South Carolina. So I have the momentum going into Super Tuesday. Pretty good plan. There's a sound logic to it. So we'll see. And he, I think he's pulling in third place. So uh, we'll see. Maybe perhaps I have been too hasty, but I stand by that. I don't think he has a chance. We'll see what happens. Biden, he's not all there, man. He's not all there. Ugh. He's not all there. He, today, not during the debate, but earlier today, he said, my name's Joe Biden. I'm running for Senate. Now, you might say, you know, that was a slip up. But he didn't address it. He, he didn't correct himself. The guy is losing it. I'm sorry. He's losing it. Perhaps I, I'm, 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 a bit he, I'm a bit emotional right now. So maybe I'm being too hard on him. But losing it is definitely uh, too hard. But he's definitely slowing down. He's not, uh, he's not as sharp. He has difficulty finishing sentences. And he's not as sharp as he was during the Obama years. But, I mean, we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm not going to make a prediction right now. <laughs> um, it's way too early to make a prediction. Way too early. But 45 minutes in, Bernie's holding his own. Bloomberg, you got to stop apologizing. But I think I think it's too late. And you know everybody else up there is still going to try to try to get their moment, try to get their sound bit in. But we'll see. We'll see. I think the big moment is going to be the Russia. I think that's what you're going to be hearing tomorrow. Is that Putin? Putin supporting you? I think that's going to be the the highlight reel. Okay. If you like what I do, please be sure to like this video. Subscribe to my channel, new videos every single day, and follow me on Twitter and Minds. Have a good evening. Thank you all for listening. This is Mike, the American Analyst. Follow me on Twitter, Minds, and subscribe to me on YouTube. And be sure to hit that bell notification. I'll be coming out with new videos every single day for your viewing enjoyment. Have a good one.